In other news, senior defense officials from South Korea, the United States and Japan met for talks this afternoon at the Ministry of National Defense in Seoul to discuss ways to better deal with North Korea's threats and provocations. The Defense Ministry announced that on the sidelines, Seoul and Japan for the first time directly exchanged intelligence on North Korea under their recently signed intelligence sharing agreement. Kim Hyun Bin reports. South Korea's Deputy Minister for National Defense Policy, Yu Ye Sung, and his U.S. and Japanese counterparts, Kelly McSemin and Satoshi Maeda, met on Friday and discussed ways to better counter North Korea's nuclear and missile threats. The three sides strongly condemned North Korea's two nuclear tests and numerous ballistic missile launches this year and vowed to strictly enforce the recent U.N. Security Council resolution against the North. The Allies called on the regime to immediately halt its provocations and abide by international rules. They also discussed a wide array of regional defense issues and the possibility of a North Korean provocation in the near future aimed at taking advantage of the domestic turmoil in South Korea and the political transition in the United States. Separate bilateral talks were also held on the sidelines before the main trilateral meeting. The U.N. and Japanese counterpart discussed the recent Seoul-Japan military intelligence sharing pact in November. And during the talks, the two allies held their first exchange of information regarding North Korea's threats. Meanwhile, the talks between the U.N. and Maximin mainly focused on the transfer of wartime operation control and the deployment of the U.S. DAD advanced missile defense system to the Korean Peninsula. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.